Hey guys, uh, Chris here with TuckRecipes.com and today I'll be showing you how to get WordPress up and running on a local host and we're going to be doing this on Windows 7 so I like to use WAMP server for that I have a tutorial on Tech Recipes on how to install WAMP server which is pretty easy and it allows you to work offline and essentially run applications that would need to run online essentially like PHP based stuff like WordPress here so I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on WAMP so you can work on WordPress offline on your local host so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to wordpress.org and click the big blue download button and get the latest version and right here we're going to grab that and we'll start downloading shouldn't take too long there and now we have our WordPress folder here and we're just going to extract this to the desktop. Now on the desktop you should see a WordPress directory when you open it it's going to look like this with the three folders here WordPress admin, WordPress content, WordPress includes if you ever installed WordPress before manually it's pretty much the same thing so the first thing we want to do since this needs a database is we want to set up a uh, database on WAMP server so I'm gonna go ahead and start WAMP server and what we want to do is launch my we're gonna launch PHP my admin here so you can click it through WAMP server and it'll pop up here PHP my admin and we need to create a new database so what we want to do is go to databases at the top and right here it's gonna let us create a new database and I'm gonna call it WordPress 3 because I already have a few WordPress databases here and we're gonna go ahead and click create and you'll see database WordPress 3 has been created so now we have that database right here there's nothing in it it's ready to be filled so now let's minimize this and go to our WordPress install here and open it now you're gonna to wanna to look for wp-config-sample.php we're gonna rename this and take out the sample and the dash and hit enter so it should be called wordpress-config.php now let's right click and edit this with notepad now we need to connect WordPress with the database and that's going to be right here in these first few sections here we're able to enter the information for the database so the first field here we're going to need the database name which is WordPress 3 is what I called mine you may have called yours something else we're going to need the name of the user mine is root and I have no password because it's a local server it doesn't really matter and then uh, database host is more than likely going to be local host so we're going to go ahead and save that and we can close that now what we need to do is get this onto our WAMP. So we're going to go to your WAMP server where you have WAMP installed and open your www. And I have a WordPress install in there. I'm going to delete that, pretend you didn't see that. So <laughs> we're going to take our WordPress directory and simply plop it into wherever you want the path to it to be. So now we just have to link to this and run the famous install. So let's go ahead, click on WAMP, click on localhost and let's look for that directory under your projects WordPress or you could simply type it in and you know you can just go on from here and enter you know your information and this is for the quick install and click install WordPress and you'll see WordPress has been installed I'll log me in we can log in here and now we have WordPress on our local host you'll see at the top local host Dash WordPress, and there you go. Now you can start developing WordPress plugins and themes offline. Really awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.